Hello friends, how are you all? Hope you are all okay. Hope you've had a great weekend in the snow. Have you built, built, have you builded, have you built or did it? Have, have you built, did you build? Should we start again? Did you build any snowmen, snow women? Or I heard today somebody built a snow baby, which I thought was very cool. Uh, we built a snowman. I did suggest making a snow lady. Ruben said no. Uh, called Avalanche. And he's had a quite a hard couple of days, so he's having to lie down now, sort of falling backwards, just having a little snooze. Yellow. Scotch yellow anyway in this picture. I'm pretty sure in the rules about Yolo being in school that we agreed he was not allowed to sit on the teacher's chairs. So don't tell any of the teachers that he's breaking the rules. Right, I've got a story by Ed Fear. So I read a book a while ago called Grumpy Frog, and this is by the same author. And I have read a story about Max. I think it was when we were in assembly. Anyway, this is called Max at Night. This is Max. It's way past Max's bedtime. Max is very sleepy. He's tired. Max has drunk his milk. Max has brushed his teeth. Max has cleaned behind his ears. I expect you all do that every night, don't you? Now Max is going to say goodnight. Good night, fish, said, says Max. Good night, box, says Max. Good night, spider, says Max. Good night, moon, says Max. But the moon is nowhere to be seen. Moon, moon, where are you, moon, says Max. Maybe I'll see moon from outside. Max steps out into the starlit night. Good night, night, says Max. Have you seen Moon? But the night is dark and quiet. Maybe I'll see Moon if I get a little higher, thinks Max. Max tiptoes carefully onto the sleeping dog. Good night, dog, whispers Max. Have you seen Moon? But the sleeping dog is sleeping. What's that you, Yolo? Maybe I'll see Moon if I get a little higher, thinks Max. Max climbs up a tall, tall tree and creeps out along a branch. Good night, tree, says Max. Do you know where I can find Moon? But the tall, tall tree only rustles in the breeze. Max climbs even higher, up amongst the rooftops. Good night, rooftops, says Max. Have you seen Moon? But the rooftops are silent. Hmm, maybe if I get much higher, thinks Max. Maybe from the tallest building. Max climbs up. And up and up. Good night, tallest building, says Max. Can you see Moon? But the tallest building says nothing. Oh, Moon, where are you, Moon? says Max. Max is very tired, but he climbs up even higher to the highest of the high hills where the wind blows cold and strong. Good night, hill, says Max. Please tell me, have you seen Moon? But the highest of the high hills just whistles in the wind. Max has had enough. Moon! Where are you? Up on the highest of high hills, the wind hears Max and blows and blows and blows the clouds away. And there, full and brilliant in the night sky, Moon! Good night, Max, whispers Moon, and thank you very much for coming. Good night, Moon, yawns Max. It's been a long, long night. Now I can go to bed. Max, calls Moon across the night sky. Did you know that I can hear you when you say good night at home? Oh, says Max. Now you tell me. Well, thank you. That's good, very good to know. Max is tired and happy. 
he walks back along the rooftops and clambers down the tall, tall tree. Max creeps carefully over the sleeping dog and sleepy, very sleepy, he climbs the stairs to bed. Sleep tight, Max, says the moon. But Max doesn't hear. Max is snoring. 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 Fast asleep. Hope you enjoyed that. It reminded me of one of our learning powers, which once upon a time was aim up. Um, because Max really did go up really high, didn't he, to try and find the moon? But it was there all along, it was just hidden behind the clouds. Hope you enjoyed the story. Yolo, did you enjoy the story? Was it really good? Are you going to go to sleep now? Anyway, hope that you are all okay and I hope you enjoy your PSHE sessions. If you can make those, that's really good. I know that teachers are really looking forward to doing it. They're a bit nervous about doing it because it's live and they've got to use Zoom. But they'll be brilliant, of course they will. I hope you have a lovely time. I will do another story again soon, me and my friend Yolo. And sending you all lots and lots and lots of love. Take care, everybody.